I think what I see now in cosmetic patients is many instances where they have pre-existing autoimmune disorders or alternatively, you know, like you asked me, like, why do I have so much inflammation? Like inflammation from our bodies reacts in a, in a way that if you put a device in someone, they, their body immediately forms scar tissue around it. And that's the capsule, the scar capsule everybody talks about. Your body's always going to try to get that out of your system. And then if you have other things from your environment, you know, the water we drink, the air we breathe, the food we eat, the products we come in contact with in our skin and daily basis. Uh, in Austin, there's tons of mold. These things all add to the, the basically your toxic burden. And that's what gives you the inflammation. So what you're saying essentially is when you put an implant in, if you're already having uh, like inflammation problems to begin with, or you already have underlying autoimmune, and then you put the implant in, your body is pushing it out like a splinter. Or is it, it trying to wall it off from the rest of your body? Yeah, it walls it off. It, it won't reject it in the, in the truest sense, like in the cosmetic patient, uh, because the tissues are intact around it. 